Hi, I'm Lucas Capone. And I'm Jack Coleman, and this is the CBA Newsroom. It was a big sports week this past week at CBA. The CBA golf team won the state championship title, beating out Bergen Catholic, who beat them last year. The CBA tennis team also won the South Jersey State Championship. The track team won their seventh straight Shore Conference title. Also, congratulations to CBA's 55th graduating class, the class of 2017. Of the 233 graduates, 220 will be attending four-year schools that rank among the best universities and colleges nationally or regionally in U.S. News and World Report. Uh, Two-thirds of the class of 2017 received merit-based scholarships totaling more than $23 million. Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017, Christian Brothers Academy welcomed Brother Gabe Jesus to campus to present on the 20 program. Through several fundraising initiatives throughout this past academic year, CBA students have helped raise funds to directly support the Nativity School. Newsroom was with br Brother for most of the day and had an interview with him. Take a look. Hi, I'm Lucas Capone here with Brother Gabriel Jesus from um, our twin school in Eritrea. Um, brother, when did you first decide to become a brother of the Christian schools? I was a student of Brothers since uh, 11 years of age. So when I finished uh, grade five, it just came into my mind to be a brother. And uh, I went to, to ask the, the brother who was responsible uh, if I can become a brother. So he, he laughed at me and he said, uh, you from country, country man, uh, you have to ask to be aspirant, not a brother. And I remember I repeated, I want to be a brother. So he didn't hesitate. He just went to his room and brought a piece of paper just for uh, to bring um, two trousers, uh, sh sh a towel, and bed sheets, uh, two, three bed sheets, <coughs> and, uh, and other things that I need. So I went back to my mother. My father was at work, and I, I told her, I'm going to be a brother, and she didn't. Uh, so she took a small stick, and she said, what? What is frere, frere, brother, brother, if you want to be a priest, go to the seminary. So I, I, a little bit I was sad and I, well, I didn't cry, but I was almost. And then my father came in the evening, the same thing. So I did a hunger strike, not to eat, not to talk to anybody. So hiding, I was eating a little, not to die. So I had two possibilities, either to disappear from the family or to enter what I wanted. So I am a, a little bit also a stubborn child, a stubborn in my ideas. I don't like to change. If I want to do it, I have to do it. So in my personality, that was my, my, uh, my way of doing things. So I did that, and then after a week, I have a cousin in Rochester who was an orphan. Her name is Zion. She came to me and I, I loved her. I, I was very close to her. She was an orphan who was living with us. And um, she asked me, why are you not eating and why are you not talking? So I told her, I know what I'm going to do if I don't join uh, the brothers. So she went to, to my mom and she told her, if he disappears, you are going to cry for your life. So it's better, why don't you leave him? So he try, if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't reach, he will come back. So in this way she gave me a small, a small bag that I have as a souvenir. It's more than 45 years now. And her, chow her towel and her bed sheets. So I just took a few things and then I went to, uh, to the brothers and uh, I continued to be a brother. I liked to be a brother. Of course, I had a lot of ups and downs in my life, but uh, the motivation to be a brother was stronger than any other motives in my life, so I became a brother. That is an amazing story, brother. Um, how long have you been a brother? So I joined it as a, a junior for five years since 1972, and then I became a brother uh, 1977. Wow. Yep. Uh, since then, I am teaching. 
I'm teaching all the time, and I like to teach. And I, I played basketball since uh, when I was 14 years old, and I started to dribble the ball 14 years old, and I never left it. And I think even in a wheelchair, I will play. We saw that today, brother. I was out there uh, killing those frees out there. You know, just knocking them down. So you're still a great player. I think so, and I will not. Uh, I will not uh, stop playing. And I am 60 today, so I don't. I don't feel 60 years old. 60. I don't feel 60. I feel 20, 25. So I run with the students, and I love my students. Do you have any suggestions for CBA to um, continue helping the uh, the school in Eritrea? First of all, I would like to thank CBA and uh, the other twin of the schools with um, with uh, nativity. Um, I would recommend that you continue to assist, especially nativity school, because um, there is a big need. And it's a village school. Uh, students come from four or five uh, villages, and they walk every day. So to make that school a real center for for these uh, students who are coming from these villages, girls and boys, uh, that you continue to really raise money for, for them. And I thank you. Thank you, brother, for joining us here on Newsroom. It's been a pleasure talking with you today and right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you nice too. To meet you.